Hi, I'm Tanasia Pagano, and I did some research on William Chandler Bagley. Um, ultimately, he was an essentialist in the late 19th and early 20th century, which was a large part of the progressive movement. Um, he's often dismissed and overclassified, mainly because he was an educationalist. He believed in a balanced approach to education um, that may have begged, borrowed, and stolen from many other schools of thought. Um, and though he agreed with liberal education, social progress, and social service, he did not fit the progressive mold and often challenged and was challenged by progressives. Um, but he was largely a believer in basic skills, liberal arts, and teacher education. Throughout his education, he constantly took note of teachers who were very knowledgeable and who seemed to have it together. He specifically addressed teachers in his past who had great classroom management skills and who were subject matter experts. Originally looking into farming, Bagley was asked to teach, and that ultimately changed his life forever. Throughout his career um, in graduate studies, Bagley sought to address the connection between psychology and education. Again, his main focus was teacher education and essential knowledge and skills that would emphasize the relationship between schooling and democracy. As far as teacher education goes, Bagley thought back to those memorable teachers that he had. He had remembered them, but he was really concerned about the low status of the teaching profession. So he focused his life on the implementation. He believed in a focus on liberal arts and sciences, classroom management, and best practices. Ultimately, he laid the foundation and the groundwork for the formation of schools of education at universities. He's also the founder of Kappa Delta Pi, an international fraternity that still seeks to enhance teaching, the teaching profession, and really letting students get value out of those that are in the room teaching them. There's not been much talk about Bagley's worldview from a religious perspective. If one reflects on Pope's um, idea of a worldview, which allows people to properly understand how God relates to our vocation, Bagley's work could consistently align, again, with no clear reference to religion or higher being. Uh, it can be concluded that Bagley's worldview could align with that of a biblical one. With that being said, again, with no apparent references to theology, it can be inferred that William Chandler Bagley was not religious. Uh, the immediate connection that Bagley has to today's educational system is the study of education as a science. From a district and or a curriculum writer's perspective, Bagley's idea of essential skills and knowledge is easily measurable and looks to be consistently in effect. After all, the standards in Texas are literally called Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, otherwise known as the TEKS. Though Texas hasn't yet adopted the Common Core standards, most of the components of both sets of standards are the same. Um, most teacher preparation programs also consist of courses in classroom management and subject-specific areas each push for organization and preparation in the classroom. So that's another way that we can see Bagley's impact in today's um, time. The most resonating and relatable profession outside of the classroom that coincides with Bagley's theories is that of an instructional coach. Ultimately, the role of the instructional coach is to consistently improve teacher preparation and education. So. In the end, William Chandler Bagley is a great model for those that are in the classroom and for those who wish to continue um, to better the profession through teacher education and through the teaching of those essential knowledges and skills that would emphasize the relationship between schooling and democracy. Thanks.